Okay, so, uh, let's see what I did so far. I know my camera's blurry from there because it's set to be up close. Um, let's see, uh, what did I do? I cut out the hole. It now lets the, um, it, l it lets the turbo just kind of sink back in there a little bit. I, what I can do is I can take styrene and give a little bubble. But this truck is probably the only truck I've ever actually almost finished and with this much detail. Okay, so here's the turbo setup. The intake, this is from the Dodge Viper. Um, Dodge Viper, well, it's the Dodge Ram VTS with the Viper engine. I just cut that off because I broke the cab and I'm not going to rip Revel off by asking for new parts. So I'm just going to do without can make my own off a K and N Eclipse one or something like that. Um, there's the intake uh, part of the turbo. You can see the manifold is right underneath the intake one, and you can't really tell. What the heck? Why can't you tell? Oh, the reason you can't tell where the where the between the intake and the um, thing is that's not light that's the white piece of styrene right well I'm trying to get in there but right right underneath like this area right here right there is the styrene underneath you can't really see it much anymore you should be able to see it now that's where it's all connected and stuff and then this is the dump if I can get it it's the exhaust part and the exhaust dump right down and now it goes it's down to getting the um, turbo piping done for the intake um, now I may just do a video on that and I will be doing a video, well, depends if you guys want me to, I'll make a video on how I build intercoolers now. And I will give away later on, but I will give away my paint because if you see this, not give it away, but give away the make or the maker because if you see that paint, that ain't normal, that isn't normal um, silver, that's almost chrome. And I'm actually quite pleased with it because it's the closest to chrome I've ever seen. So I'll give you that if I haven't already in one of my videos. I think I have or else the video didn't make it onto YouTube. But I'll make sure I tell you. Um, that's the turbo setup for right now. I will bring be bringing you videos throughout the night. Being the fact that, um, that I found out that, well not found out, but that it's just so much easier to just click upload on this little webcam. And the quality for a webcam is phenomenal for this thing. I mean, uh, I mean, how much better from a webcam quality can you get than like this? I have to detail those wires and everything. I have to fix my Dremel tool did go wild when I was cutting the holes, so somewhere in there I have a cut. And yes, make sure you always take control of your Dremel tool because mine, as you can see, kind of hopped off there. And one of my shocks did f fall out. I got it back in. It was very weird that none of this stuff is even glued in. I super glued it in, but it's not doing. It's not acting like it's been super glued in. There's how I lifted it. Easy way. Just pay, take styrene and uh, styrene tubing with smaller styrene t uh, rod inside of it, and put it in certain places, and you have a lifted truck. So there's that on manifolds. Um, it's kind of up to you on how you put it to use. These could be used for muscle car. I mean, it's real easy. I mean, like if anybody wants to use styrene, yeah, styrene is, or styrene. I say styrene now for some reason, but styrene um, is just really, it's hard. And if you bend it too far, it just kind of, you know, and you can bend it to a certain point and then it just kind of either snaps itself back or else 
Huh, this one ain't breaking. Usually it breaks for me. Huh. The bigger you get, the easier it breaks. This stuff don't break at all. Unless you really, yeah, unless you twist it in a knot and then pull it. You twist it and then you yank it. It broke. This stuff right here, this thicker stuff, you bend it even. Like if I were to bend it right now, I'd break it, but I'm not going to waste a piece of it. So yeah, that's how to make manifolds, um, custom manifolds. And yeah, I'll be doing a video right after this one uploads. Actually, no, I'll make one right after I click the stop recording. And I'll just make another one for a good tip idea. Uh, yeah, so I'll talk to you guys in a few seconds or minutes or however long the videos take to upload. Talk to you later. Bye. Peace.